Hi, my name is Kai Armstrong. I'm the product manager for the editor group and the create stage at the DevOps lifecycle here at GitLab. And I'm here to talk about uh, upcoming 13.0 release is a major release for GitLab. Um, and so I want to talk today about what the editor group has coming in 13.0. So let me share the screen here. So in 13.0, uh, I feel like a little bit of a broken record. The, the editor group's been working on version control snippets and dark theme for the web IDE. And I am super, super excited. Um, both of those are on track to ship inside of 13. Um, and so what's really exciting about getting kind of version control snippets across the line, we'll start there, is that um, as you can see in the epic, we're kind of closing out all of those things. The last, the last two things that we're working on are um, the migration. So we've got to run a, a background migration for all of the existing snippets inside of GitLab to be converted from uh, blobs stored inside of the database to new Git projects um, or Git repositories uh, for each snippet. So that's going to be happening uh, in the background. Uh, we'll start that sort of early in the milestone for GitLab.com. So you might see this functionality pop up there sooner. Um, and then it'll, it'll happen as part of the 13.0 self-managed release. Uh, we've also got a couple other things around, you know, feature flags and a couple content validation pieces that we had in there prior to this release. And then um, a major documentation update, right, to, to let everyone know how this is all working now. And so, you know, when we look at this epic, we're going to get to close out um, to some of the big stuff for version control for snippets. And I think what's, what's exciting about that is it's going to allow us to get into sort of the next level of things that we want to do. And so, um, the next sort of major thing that we're talking about here is, is multiple files. And so we've already got a list of uh, issues that we need to go tackle to take our new Git-based snippets and then uh, allow users to have multiple files inside of those snippets. A lot of what we did in the refactors to get to this point were to enable us to move very quickly on multiple files. So hopefully we'll be seeing that in the next um, couple releases following up this. And then we've got a general set of UI enhancements that we want to do. And so um, there's only things like exposing sort of the Git controls and diffs and revisions to you. Uh, and also forking and stars and sort of all these things that you can do with projects that'll help make snippets um, more usable for sharing with other people as well as more usable for kind of organization and popularity. Um, and so we're really excited for kind of what getting through this, you know, the big slog of, of getting the version control stuff in place uh, is gonna allow us to do with snippets. And so all of those things are coming over the next few milestones, as we get closer, we've got a, a better plan. I'll, we'll specify out kind of which releases those are. Um, I'll I kind of show this one off too. This is, uh, this is actually on GitLab.com. This is my first Git snippet uh, based on the new functionality. And um, as you can see, it looks a lot like our snippets do today. The, the, the big difference is there's now a clone button. Um, this is live on GitLab.com for all newly created snippets, but it's not in place for the background migration yet. Um, so that's, Something to be excited about. It's coming. Uh, the last one is the the dark theme for the web IDE. We've been talking about this a lot. Uh, we talked about kind of the steps we laid to get sort of content areas in a in a dark theme, and then uh, in twelve ten we really pushed it and got almost all the way there to get this ship. Um, but we've got a few areas that we need to touch up to be able to release this in thirteen. And so um, in thirteen, what we'll be working on is finishing up some of the smaller areas that we weren't able to touch around. Um, Markdown previews, avatars, drop downs, submodal windows, some other things that are just not quite the way we want them to be able to put this dark mode in front of people and for it to be completely usable. Um, some of these would break things and make it hard to use the interface. And so um, we're holding off on this one until 13, but confidently I think we'll get this across the line in 13 and then you'll be able to get a complete dark experience inside of the web IDE and GitLab. And so we're really excited about that. So, um, that's what we've got coming up for the editor group in 13. Um, two, I think, huge features that we're gonna release. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, we'd love to get your feedback on these items or other items. I'll leave some links down below for category strategies and um, other pages that you can come and interact with us. But um, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Make sure you check out everyone else's kickoff videos and uh, we'll see you for 13.1.